The first one on the list is called TopCat, a very familiar program that's been there for some time now. As the name says, a takeoff and a landing performance. You get uh, both the takeoff and the landing uh, performance, uh, runway, runway length uh, performance, such as uh, the engine out as well, which uh, is an abnormal configuration that uh, you can use uh, the the AO seeds. Um, in some uh, freeways, you don't tend to get uh, stuff like that. Uh, so this. Uh, uh, Payware software is uh, actually a good uh, software to use, but it is a little bit uh, outdated. I think it's 2.74 is uh, the version, uh, which has been around for some time now, uh, but uh, hopefully they would update it. Uh, one of the limitations is that it's uh, limited to only a certain types of aircraft, as you can see, the ATR-72, and only one of the Airbuses, uh, A320. Uh, doesn't have the the new, uh, the latest um, model right now. Uh, does have uh, mostly Boeing aircraft, uh, 737, the 738, uh, the 747 uh, freighter, and uh, many more. You can get a screenshot of it, of what the program is. Uh, here is a screenshot of the program, and uh, the aircraft uh, with the operating weight uh, maximum uh, zero fuel weight max takeoff landing weight so it does have all of this good stuff and uh, many more features yeah, going back to flight himself we see the pricing uh, for the program is a uh, euro 17.99 not a bad uh, price i find for all the features that it has even if it has limited aircrafts i happen to own this program uh, as you see the license uh, to my name as you can see down there the database uh, 2312 outdated a bit but uh, you can uh, get the latest update uh, by going on to the navigraph program and you would see fms data manager so you download that and uh, once you have a subscription by putting your sign in and uh, paying for the subscription then you would be able to update on the, the software and then you would see at the bottom, uh, the latest uh, ARAC updated here. Or you can also do it manually by getting the file and updating uh, the ARAC manually by, by yourself. So I'm just gonna do a, a rough example for you to see how it is as you can see uh, it has uh, everything here dry operating rate uh, max fuel weight uh, so we're gonna go into weight and balance of the aircraft and uh, we can put it on random or set it whichever way you want press random for the cargo load uh, like i said just any flight let's say for example los angeles to miami any flight number uh, delta 2 a one two uh let's just say estimate or oh, you can put it whichever one you want and then uh it says it says that the cg is out of limits so let's say let's just uh change things around to to get it to a good enough um payload then you can uh, go on to take off but even before take off you can look at the load sheet if you want and uh get it right here uh press take off uh, let's just update that, update the weather, and uh, to give you the latest weather, as we put this weather source as NAOA, or you can change it to VATSIM, Active Sky, whichever one, or IVO, IVAO, whichever one you choose, and uh, it will give you the headwinds and um, the temperatures, um, and as I said before, it does give you the engine out which i find is one of the good thing about this program it will give you the engine out procedure so it says a right turn to sli uh, vr which is 115.7 which is 360 inbound which is a left turn um you can also shorten up the runway heading if you want to do intersections uh departure and you're just going to press compute and it will give you what it thinks is the optimum flaps and takeoff for us and uh, 
uh, whatever configuration that you want. So when you go, you press results and then it will give you a performance right here, as you can see, uh, whichever one you want to choose. If you want to choose a first a D rate 54, then it shows a weight which would be about 68 uh, tons. Um, speeds are 150, 151, uh, that would be V1, 151 and V2, 151. Pretty much, and uh, the good thing about this is it tells you what the runway uh, length of uh, remaining would be. The same thing goes uh, for the landing, you will just press update, same configuration, and then you'll also get a performance as well. The thing about this program is that you also have a user PDF file uh, when you go in the help user guide, and then you would get everything that you need to know about the program right here and uh, it's if you have uh, whatever uh, pdf reader that you have then uh, you might be able to see all of this here in the table of contents and you can go to whichever one so that you can have some information as to what uh, uh, whatever you might not know then you might go and then they might explain whatever that you need to know it has a lot more advanced features, but uh, at the moment it lacks some of the buses and also the engine types. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, for the price that you pay, I think it's a very good program um, where you can just tweak around the weights and to get uh, almost the same landing performance or takeoff performance that you want. We have next virtual performance tool, which is a pure uh, program as well, which has a lot of uh, features where you can actually uh, get uh, no times. Um, you pretty much do all of the things that you want to do. ML, uh, it has MELs as well. Um, as you can see here, it has uh, 2,637 active pilots, and. Uh, if you go to the features, uh, you see Android it can be used on Android uh, laptop, and uh, this is a program, but it's mainly for the Boeing 737, yeah, 800, uh, the CFM 56. So if you really want to use this aircraft, uh, you can use this performance chart. Uh, the good thing about it is uh, when you go in the the pricing, you would see that there is for beginners, uh, also recommended for frequent users or the hardcore. Uh, the good, the thing about the hardcore one is that it has no terms, MELs, CDLs, things that you do in the real world, uh, all the calculations, uh, EOC data. Um, as you can see here in the one, uh, it's for three dollars and ninety-nine per month. Uh, you see, it doesn't have the EOCs or the MELs uh, where you can practice uh, stuff like if you have um, no APU or uh, certain um, things in the aircraft is not functioning, things like that. Uh, it does have landing non normal checklist, uh, but as you can see, the pricing uh, $199 per month for the standard and for the VP. All in all, it's not a bad program to use, uh, but I don't happen to own this program. But uh, if you don't want to use it, then you can use this program, not a bad program. One of the first freewares we have, QCM Planner, one of my favorites actually. Uh, open source uh, fuel planning and takeoff or landing performance, as you can see. Yeah, the version is 0 0.4.8. Uh, very good program, I do use it a lot, uh, which I find is a very good program for being a freeway. Uh, it does have the Windows installer or the portable version if you like. And the program is here. As you can see, the version 0 0.4.8. Uh, not a, a outdated program uh, to say, but it is a very good program. And uh, for freeway, I'm actually very surprised it's freeway, but it's a really nice program. As you see here, we have aircraft. You can uh, press new, and uh, you can uh, change the aircraft type, uh, whichever what, whatever one you want, or the registration as well. Put whatever that you feel like whichever aircraft I use 
and uh, as you see it says a uh, weight unit kilograms or pounds fuel consumption uh, profile if you want to uh, use one of the profiles you can use one of the profiles for the fuel consumption uh, it does have a takeoff a landing and uh, you put any of the weights here take off uh, as it says here you can go to uh, but even before that as you can see all the aircrafts these are uh, the aircrafts that you see here I think in um, Top Cat I don't think you have the 300 ER version of the 777 that you have the uh, ER and as well you do have the seven uh the Boeing seven eight seven dash eight as well as you have the seven four seven eight freighter and the eight and the fuel tab you can change the aircraft type to whichever aircraft type that you have or the profile I put uh, the three twenty uh, CFM fifty six for example and change the weight uh, unit into kilogram or pounds and as you see we have the units here as uh, what you had as standard uh, you can put the route I put uh, Dubai for example uh, destination um, the origin as Dubai and the destination as uh, Gatwick and uh, you, if you want you can find a route here or you can uh, analyze a route see if it's okay as it says uh, the route, this route is valid uh, this uh, program is uh, really good. You can actually avoid countries when selecting a route so that it avoid this route if you want or you can just put in your own route as you feel like. It doesn't have sufficient fuel. But, uh, if we change uh, the aircraft, let's say 747 and then uh, we press calculate, then it will give us a report. Uh, just uh, some standard uh, uh, fuel weights and stuff like that everything uh, just from a generic standpoint if you want to uh, to the next and uh, if you want it doesn't have sufficient fuel but, uh, if we change uh, the aircraft let's say 747 and then uh, we press calculate then it will give us there's a uh, few weights and stuff like that. Everything uh, just from a generic standpoint. And to the takeoff tab, you uh, into Gatwick. You can see because we have the meta uh, uh, source down here, sorry, the meta data source, then we can actually uh, just press a download meta and you know that it's working when it shows you a, a tick. Um, so yes, you can change uh, the slope of the runway. You can go ahead on your charts and then, and then calculate. Um, you know, if you don't have it, then you can either calculate it, or if you do know it, then from your spec or uh, wherever it is, then you just put it in, and you would uh, put that value here for the slope. Um, uh, the rest is a standard takeoff weight. You have first flaps, uh, anti-eyes, packs, and you just press uh, compute, uh, calculate, sorry, and that will give you a general assumed temperatures uh, runway, which I find is a very good, um, that uh, it actually gives you the runway remaining as well, uh, the runway required distance uh, based on the meta, so, and the weightings. So that's a really good good that uh, you can compute all of these things uh, in the takeoff and the landing is just as good you can do the same thing uh, the, the weights and everything and then download the meta uh, plug in the configuration that you want press uh, calculate and it will give you at least um, the landing distance and the remaining distance what I realized that it does not do however is that it doesn't take into consideration uh, the takeoff speeds um, so that's something that if your aircraft um, automatically populates or um, or if you I guess you had to eyeball it if you know what is a 
rough enough uh, takeoff speed then you just uh, put it in your FMC but uh, going on to the mix um, anything that you want to know the data airport data meta um, uh, report uh, destination report uh, it does have trucks uh, as you see at the bottom here there's our trucks ready because of being a uh, that is just program and everything's operating properly uh, you can enable nuts uh, trucks or pack out trucks those trucks are it's pretty good when you need it for uh, for those trucks uh, uh, across the Atlantic and you need to find a route uh, so to give you a route based on the nut trucks and uh, stuff like that you can download it if you want uh, the winds are off as I said uh, from down here it says latest winds are off is available and we have options and you can see at the moment my ARAC is expired but you can uh, get the latest ARAC for QC Impiler and then uh, once you download it into where it is then it will show ARAC is uh, valid if you need to know anything else then you can always go into the manual and read about it uh, for your liking so that was the program and not a bad program all in all I think it's uh, a good program that you can use uh, for you to get your takeoffs and landing uh, configuration lens um, just however it doesn't have the takeoff speed or the landing speed uh, so that's something that you would have to uh, either calculate on your own or go to the aircraft performance pages and get a rough uh, number The next freeware we have is uh, called uh, performance uh, calculation and it's for the Airbuses. If you go in the aircraft type, we have the A319, 20, 20 Neo, 21, A330. So we're gonna put uh, the Airbus A320 Neo, uh, put a gross weight of about 72 kilotons and a CG of about 14, configuration one plus F, anti-ice off, Air conditioning off, uh, Gatwick, uh, the latest uh, weather, um, meta and uh, airport data. So we are running with 2.6 left and uh, it computes all the information here. For the uh, QNH, uh, we have 997 and uh, temperature minus 2. With the wind uh, 360 at 8, uh, you press calculate and it does give you a V1, VR, V2. Uh, the thrust of Toga, no flex. But the, that's a good thing about this program is that it actually gives you uh, the V1 uh, rotate and uh, the V2 as well as uh, the flex. But uh, obviously, it, at the moment, it doesn't have uh, the runway length for and the remaining for the for landing or the um, the length for takeoff. But I think it's a very good freeware for those who want to use this program uh, to at least uh, give you the speeds and the first settings uh, for the departure uh, last but not least we have this program here it's a very tiny program uh, Utopia is the name uh, version 1.3 so it's a very old program where it's been there for a while on uh, the AFSIM uh, website uh, not a bad uh, program, but uh, it is uh, good enough. In fact, as you can see, it was there since uh, 1st October 2018. Uh, so it's been there for some time. So with the program, you can uh, change the aircraft that you're using. We, it does have a few aircrafts here. Uh, CRJ. 767 737 up to the 9 uh, PMDG 747. Uh, so it, it does have quite a bit of aircraft, yeah. The quality wings, uh, so some of the FSX aircraft and stuff like that. Uh, those aircraft are there from that time, but uh, I mean, you can still use it in uh, today uh, if you really want. Uh, and in, in this time of watching this video, if you if you want to use it as a last resort. It is there for if you want to use it. 
Uh, you can uh, put in the airport that you want to do. We're going to use Gatwick again. It gives us runway. And uh, if we had the sim connected, then we could add just copy what the weather is like. But uh, let's say roughly a uh, while ago, minus 2, QNH 997. Wind, I guess, uh, 360 at 8, if I can remember. Kilograms. Uh, let's say uh, if we put an aircraft of wind 737, let's say 74 tons as we put it in uh, kilograms as they say engine anti-ice and as you can see the, the engine there is 22 24 26 and optimum climb or whichever one that but if we put an optimum climb press uh, get takeoff and you see it says using flaps 5 engine uh, full which is the 26 uh, 54 um, defrost um, based on the weather so it's not uh, it doesn't take into consideration uh, the climb performance is just uh, the runway length uh, not a bad program like i say you can use it if you want to use it um, it does do a good job in terms of um, decent enough job in terms of giving you at least the flap settings and the thrust um, if you do decide to use it